Monday morning. It is uh, May 7, and we welcome our friends on OneSpotMedia.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat at Smile Jam TVG, and also on television, Jamaica.com. I know it's wet where we are. I hope you're dry. We're not wet. Outside is wet, so I hope you're dry. But I suspect you, or I suggest you move a little bit earlier this morning, because there's when I was coming in, there was lots of water on the road and it's still raining. And we'll tell you in just a little while what the Met Office says about all this. But it's nice. Hello. Hi. You're mellow. The song is mellow. No Monday blues for you. Yes, actually. <laughs> Somebody's only on my jacket. I'm going to try to make it through Monday. You all right? It was, trust me, it was hard to get up out of bed. Had a good weekend? It rained um, right through the night. I it? know. I you know usually that makes you want to just stay in, but we got to go, guys, because it's a Monday morning, and you know when the rain falls, then it's more traffic on the road. So the earlier you can get out of the house this morning, I don't have to leave us and stuff to do that, but you can carry us on your phone if you're capable. And just take smile with you and get your Monday off to a great start. I agree. Your jacket. Hmm? Where is it? Your jacket is nice, right in front Thank of you. It's landing right. Oh, yeah. okay. Never mind. Go on. As I know, I, Go on. I'm good at those things, so I just. Yeah, ninja it up. Yeah. yeah. So you had a good weekend? Yeah, man. Can't okay. complain. There you go. All right, folks, on today's show, with the increased use of tablets, computers, and other forms of technology, is handwriting becoming obsolete? Is it still important to learn and practice? Well, we're going to find out. Has your handwriting changed at all in the last couple of years? Mm -hmm. Mine has. I know it really. It's got worse because I haven't been writing as much. So I find now when I write, it's like very crap. But you know, I can't write. Oh, you can't write. You know, I have to write almost like block letters when I write. Caps, you write yeah. all caps, yeah. yeah. I can't write. But you've always written all yeah. caps. Yeah, all caps. I, I don't write and hook up. Hook Why up. is that? So you never yeah. learned uppercase and lowercase letters in school? I guess, but, but, no, but I always just write caps. So you're just shouting all the time? <laughs> caps is shouting yeah. all the time? Yeah, well, I don't know, but for some reason I always... Insight into your personality. <laughs> of course, with me being Child Month, we're going to highlight another young Jamaican talent showing us how special our children are. Well, if children live what they learn, can adults unlearn bad habits? Hmm. We look at the new social credit system in China, which rewards or punishes citizens' behaviors. That's, that's, that's interesting. amazing. It's interesting. Um, bad behavior, folks, many times begs for forgiveness. But can we actually forgive and forget? An associate psychologist is going to help us to answer this question this morning. What does that Look mean? Look over there. Yeah, what does that mean? You're looking at me for. Can you forgive and forget? I was just, I was wondering if you... Or do you forget and not really forgive? Or do you forgive but you do not forget? I'm sorry, I was thinking about it. And I said, um, so if you do me something really bad, and I say I forgive you. I, mean, I always remember I said to myself. Not really necessarily. Bad. Some people are really good at just putting it aside and, and, and squashing it all together. But I think it's And then if a... the same situation arises for whatever reason. With the same person? With the same person. I'm not going to want to trust you again. There is no more forgiveness after that. No, no, no. I say. I think so you only have a certain amount of forgiveness in the bank. But even if there's a. Well, if the the father forgives forgive 70 times 7. Yes. But I don't know if I have 490 forgiveness thinking about it. I was thinking about it. I'm not even certain if I understand the difference. Between what and what? Like if I, if I forget it, then if I forget it. So then I know if I forgive you, then if I forget it. The two don't necessarily work hand in hand. You can forgive somebody genuinely for something they've done. And I don't forget but it. But you take every opportunity to say, like if you get upset, remember when you did. Yeah. Which means that you're still carrying it. Yeah. So forgive That's and forget said, means yeah. you, you pretend it never ever happened. Oh, okay. Wipe the slate clean. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. now rewarding our mothers for the selflessness they show us every day. That's something Adam and Eve can help you with and they'll show you exactly how. My word, Time Mother's Day is Mother's this weekend. Day. Okay. All right. Mommy, what do you want for Mother's Day? 
Yeah, my mom can't answer that one. But. Yeah, but you're gonna go see her as usual. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we also have new investment opportunities to share with you and the community and workers of Jamaica Cooperative Credit Union stops by this morning. Plus, St. Mary's banana chips, they show off their new look. What? Mm -hmm. And the talk turns to the solving of the issue of illegal guns, the issuing of gun licenses and the responsible use of guns in our seven o'clock block. Mm. What's again? Hot topics time. So why don't we go there, Lauren? We call them free. So we told you that we would speak to you about the weather. Uh, the Met Service has extended a flash flood warning for low-lying and flood-prone areas of all parishes. And it goes up until 5 o'clock this afternoon. Mm. They say the persistent trough across Jamaica is producing unstable weather conditions across the island. The forecast is for widespread showers and thunderstorms, which could be heavy at times, to continue affecting sections of most parishes today with a gradual reduction in rainfall activity tomorrow. So that would suggest that we won't get some rain for most of the day mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. It Therefore, also suggests that it's right across the island. Yes. Well. Flash flooding, therefore expected over low-lying and flood-prone areas, which means that flooding has been reported or will occur shortly. So motorists and pedestrians, please do not attempt to cross flooded roadways or other low-lying areas as strong currents are likely. So please don't see that gully and think you should chance it and drive through there because the water is strong enough to take your vehicle. Residents, if you're in low-lying areas, please be on the alert for rising waters and be ready to move quickly to higher ground to evacuate or to we evacuate, we evaporate, as I heard one lady say um, in social media. And having said that, the police have issued an alert advising motorists to avoid using the Enon Town main road in Cape Valley, St. Anne. That's due to flooding. Um, they say the roadway is now impassable and motorists should use alternative routes. The yeah. Ramble Hill and Mount Pelia main roads at the board of Trelawney and St. James. Um, they say that's full of it also. Inundated with floodwaters. You know, yeah. it's funny. We always talk about this, how we in Kingston, we see the rain coming and we see the roads kind of wet and we say, oh boy, it's so bad. But when you see pictures of other parts other of the islands, island, you're yeah. like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, Anon Town, main road in Cave Valley, St. Anne. Don't Motorists don't Anon drive Anon that way. Is. Me neither. I myself. don't know where Cave Valley is. Um, but for those of you who do and would usually drive there, don't bother to try I don't know where morning. Ramble Hill is. I know where Montpelier is. Or I've seen it. But I'm, I don't know where Ramble Hill is. You know Ramble Hill? No, neither. Okay. All right. So again, Met Service said most of the island is expected to be affected by heavy rainfall. Heavy rainfall. Um, so y'all be careful. Right. What's the next one? This is the ever popular Riverton City. Uh, I saw folks yesterday on social media really arguing this one out, trying to figure out when this is going to stop because, I mean, there are people who live in and around Riverton City and also since air does travel, um, it's a health hazard for all of us. After an all-night battle, firefighters have extinguished a massive fire in a section of Riverton City in St. Andrew Western. Started around 11 o'clock on a large area where tires were being stored. Um, fortunately, none of the houses in the informal settlement were damaged. I'm thinking therefore, hopefully, nobody was hurt. It took several fire units and a JDF helicopter to respond to the blaze and they dumped hundreds of gallons of water on the furnace before it was brought under control. For folks in the area, many people evacuated items of furniture when they saw the blaze. They're probably used to this. It's like a drill yeah. um, by now. But apparently the NSWMA is dismissing what they describe as misleading reports suggesting that the fire um, that resulted from the burning of tires so in what caused it then? was connected to operations at the disposal site. He said uh, Executive Director Mr. Gordon said it's unfortunate and misleading social media post by Jamaica Environment Trust. 
Um, the fire was actually on a property where all the motor vehicle tires are stored near to the dump. But that's that's a part of the main problem, yeah. is the old tires and the old yeah. this and the old that, and people saying Riverton should not be storing anything. Yeah. And but he was saying it was the disposal site itself. It yeah, was, but it was in and around the disposal yeah, site. So yeah. this, it's, I mean, it may not be the actual same thing, but yeah. the, the link is it's inextricable, sir, with all due respect. I mean, if we find a way to store the garbage properly in that area, then we won't keep having these breakouts of whatever, whether small or large, um, so the people in the community won't have to suffer as much. Um, I don't know. We need to find some words to throw the old cars yep. and the old tires yep. and the old whatever else yep. is, is stored. Right. Um, but he did point out that the Solid Waste Collection and Management Agency, they've made significant efforts in recent times to improve management of the disposal site. Um, Mr. Gordon said the NSWMA is the first to admit that the solid waste situation in Jamaica is far from where it should be, but we're optimistic based on the improvements and efforts being made by the government and management team to address the challenges. Uh, well, hopefully this rain will put out the fire also, even though they were, so the firefighters did really, really well. Uh, on Saturday, I watched a very, very muddy Kentucky Derby. The track was so kid. Yep, won by a horse called Justify. And apparently Justify broke a record. It's the first horse that didn't win as a two-year-old. Apparently that uh, ended up winning the Derby uh, in 136 years. That's not the news though. The news is that apparently a lady got uh, the winners in the final five races on that day. She put Chi -ching. $18 on it and she ends up winning 1.2 million US from $18. Me just feel That's so what related. you call a five hundred million thousand dollar ROI. No, but like from a look at her, I just feel it's because your cousin, yeah, yeah, I see it. The glasses, There's the a, earring, yeah. everything. The earring. Yeah. The earring. Yeah, man, and the glasses. You could see, say, we look alike and we're related. One point two million. You from have family 80. in Kentucky. I do know. <laughs> I don't mean KFC in Crossroads, no, right? I okay, know, just checking. I do know. What's her name? Uh, uh, What's your cousin's name? Yeah, um, Alicia Bell. No, 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 name, no. no. Her name is Rachel Magneto. Yeah, Bell. Yeah, man. She, she was always Actually, Bell that's Bell. not the name of your cousin. You don't uh, know. <laughs> Shame, you wouldn't even try a name. She married name Magneto. Actually, Magneto. they haven't identified her. She Magneto. chose not to be identified. <laughs> Magneto is the spokeswoman for the Thank park. You. <laughs> um, to bet that little amount of money and win. 1.2 million dollars is unheard of in fact it is the first time it has happened at retama which is a track per the report the 1.24 million won on this bet nearly matched to justify holding by winning the run for the roses so that didn't look like me that day honest too. no no she looks like carol beckford she, so does, she might be it? carol beckford's friend which then gives you an instill because you are carol cool is, is friend it's just, it was so incredible from that um, angle the winning jockey were white silks and at the end of the race the man said white 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 and still? It was a, yeah you know why because he led the entire way so the so mud, no, didn't kick up yeah, on the him. mud didn't kick up he led from he came out of the the gate he led all the way so when he finished everybody muddy 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 and he's white 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 it's always funny to see them when they're coming through the gate like they get face massages every day yeah. mud into their eye yeah. their mouth everything they, 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 they use like six goggles in a race like that it is incredible, you know, because I was watching like the, 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 the pre-game, I guess. They make it such a big thing. Of course. It's a, the Kentucky of course. Derby is a, or they call it a derby. It's a huge race and they interview the owners and the jockeys. And I mean, the pomp and the circumstance yeah. and the shots with the roses by no, the it's trophy. It's an incredible and event. The... You, could, you could think it's the biggest thing in life. Anyway, so Justify wins the first of the, the three. There's the Preakness and there's, what else? The other one name? One name Kentucky Derby, one name Preakness. In in where? Remember, it's a triple crown. Oh, what's the third yeah, I don't, one? I don't know. What the what's third the third one, everyone? It's Kentucky Derby Preakness. I soon tell you. Somebody soon tell me Can't the third remember. one. Anyway, time for some birthdays. Well, we only have one this morning. Do you know we have the, the oldest triple crown? Mm. 